wonderful back with another one and today I want to talk about home studios uh, I wanted to talk about a project that I've been working on but it's not ready yet so I probably will announce it somewhere in the future but right now home studios um, Somewhat recently was my birthday, and I decided to treat myself to a new table. I thought about uh, getting a drawing table that has an angle for me to draw on, but I realized that those tables are quite expensive and they are not quite what I needed them to be. There were always, in all models that I looked at, there were things that made me um, decide not to buy them. So I just got a regular, very inexpensive table that I saw in the store, like it was a floor model and stuff, so it was quite cheap but bigger than the one that I was using before. And on top of that, I have my trusty box easel. Now, I'm sure that any artists that work in, with inclination, with a table that is not flat, can attest that that is the best way to draw. I used to work on a table that was flat, but with time I've, uh, I actually traveled to see a friend of mine and, and they had this box easel. So if you don't know, it's like a wood box, a wooden box with a handle and everything. It's kind of like a, like a suitcase. So it's a box with a handle, and when you open the box, you can use the top of it to draw, like it is an easel. You can put a canvas on it, and just... And that is what I've been using for quite some time. I bought that, and I laid it on a regular table, and I've been using it since... Since... Uh, Sometime after I've got it, and it's the best. It's currently at an inclination of 60 degrees. So zero would be like flat, a regular table. And then 30 degrees is what some uh, writing tables, like some old school, uh, literally from schools, uh, writing tables would be when they have like a little bit of, of an inclination. But I love me some very steep, like 60, 70 degree. Unfortunately, um, my easel box only goes as far as 60 and it's right up in my face and I don't have to slouch and contort my spine to look over my drawings. And I get a very nice view of it. So I could not recommend this more. If you've never tried, if you spend hours drawing, you should get that for your posture. But even if you don't care so much about your posture, if, if your back doesn't hurt that much because you don't spend a lot of time, seeing your drawing standing is a better way of analyzing the stuff that you're doing. When it's on a table, especially if it is a bigger uh, board or piece of paper or whatever, there is a little bit of a distortion. 
So, you know, I'm not going to go into that detail so much in this episode about stuff that is better for art production, but you should try getting an easel or a table easel or a box easel. I prefer the box not only because it's the one that I have and I got it at a remarkably affordable price, I feel like the box is sturdy and because it's long it I can place it against the wall and it's very much uh, once I put the the weight of my hand on top of it it doesn't move it doesn't samba it doesn't go back and forth as I raise and stuff it stays firm but a very expensive easel would give you that result as well uh, I have painted when I do like bigger pieces I have an easel that was donated to me by a friend on Christmas a friend that I used to play RPGs a long time ago I don't even uh, quite talk to him uh, as much nowadays but one Christmas he showed up with an easel uh, nice quality easel and he, uh, he gave it to me because um, I guess he was he didn't want it anymore like his brother his brother gave it to him and he had no use for it but I digress so drawing an inclination and an angle it's important for home studios tables uh, chair uh, light source needs to come from the opposite side of your of your hand so if you're right-handed the light should be placed on the left and if you're lefty the light should be placed on the right um, water that is something that um that if i could build my own home studio my own atelier i would have definitely a sink in it because as it is i have always to go to the kitchen to clean the brushes and stuff and this is something very important that i've learned if you ever get the opportunity to design your home studio like if it's going to be constructed or if you work as an art teacher in the school and you have the opportunity don't forget to ask them to install a sink with running water it's very very much helpful i suppose it's just the same if you use oils because you're not gonna wash stuff with water as much but for watercolorists and wash and acrylics oh man i wish there was a sink but you take stuff in a little bucket to the kitchen it's fine it's fine there's too much quality of life at this point to to ask for a sink so in my current setup i also have my computer here next to me where I record um, this lovely transmission to all of you who may be listening right now and I've been thinking about doing some sort of show where I stream be it the illustrations that I'm currently currently working on or to do like maybe art classes and stuff depending on what people might be more interested in. And so I used to stream on Instagram, but, oh boy, don't get me started on how Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube a little bit also, and I heard some bad stuff going on on Reddit as well. So... I'm not using Instagram as much. I know I have a lot of uh, of people who, that follow me there, but I'm using it less and less. So I'm on the lookout for the next 
like thing that is accommodating for the creator, for the artist, but it's also accommodating for the the people who want to follow the artist, right? So if you know of something of like a platform that you like that is good for you to engage on, send me an email at heyvini at hotmail.com H-E-Y-V-I-N-Y at hotmail.com I think Twitch people talk a lot of good things about it. Um, Some people also talk good things about Discord. I'm quite unfamiliar with both of them, but I shall give it a try if it's um, interesting for for all of you. But that is a huge digression on our topic of home studios. Because I guess in general, I'm mostly talking about my own home studio. And this is perhaps a topic that would benefit more from video format where I can show like my brushes, how I store them, uh, the little interesting tools that I've adapted, that I've created, that I've bought. There aren't quite um, art tools, but I use them as such. A uh, little collection of, of action figures and stuff that I use for reference. Like that is all the joyous uh, stuff about being an artist and having a home studio. Now, concerning the tables that I've pondered about getting, my issue with them is that they seem quite cheap for what they're offering. I'm talking about those tables. You can see them online. They have like a glass top and they have an inclination with an articulated uh, brass arm and the storage unit is like made out of a fabric or whatever it seems i don't know it seemed quite cheaply for the price that they are asking in the region that i live in um, but i wouldn't completely be against them if if they were if you have access to them buying one that is used maybe there's a little bit cheaper uh, everything that you can put your work on an inclination. Also, if you're doing digital work, the game changes a little bit. Uh, all that I said about lighting uh, is not as much relevant because sometimes the drawing tablet or the monitor is emitting light so you don't have to light it. But I've seen artists that go from traditional media to digital and they what they do is they put their um, digital tablets on an easel and that is the move right there that that you know with that you know that the artist has some background in traditional art as it is i am quite happy with the setup that i have right now I will keep on improving it. Every now and again I do some some improvements or I just change stuff up. So, you know, you got to like move yourself a little bit out of your comfort zone. Uh, I'm I am a little bit of a studio guy. I'm not the plein air type of artist. I have I haven't got much experience in plein air painting although i have done that and it is fun and challenging and an excellent exercise for for drawing but that's perhaps topic for another episode of vinny the wonderful transmissions so as it is uh please check vinny the wonderful dot blogspot.com I probably will be posting some previews, some introductions about the project that I'm working on. It has to do with halflings, but not really. But 
that's all for now, folks. Love you very much. Goodbye.